October 17, 2024 Memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch, Bishop and Martyr A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus, and are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him. In love He predestined us for adoption to Himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of His will, to the praise of His glorious grace, with which He has blessed us in the Beloved. In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of His grace, which He lavished upon us, in all wisdom and insight making known to us the mystery of His will, according to His purpose, which He set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in Him, things in heaven and things on earth. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response, The Lord Has Made Known His Salvation O sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. His right hand and His holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation, has shown His deliverance to the nations. He has remembered His merciful love and His truth for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known His salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, break forth into joyous song, and sing out your praise. The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, raise a shout before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known His salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, and the truth and the life, says the Lord, no one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus said, Woe to you! For you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you are witnesses and you consent to the deeds of your fathers, for they killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute, so that the blood of all the prophets, shed from the foundation of the world, may be charged against this generation, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be required of this generation. Woe to you lawyers! For you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. As he went away from there, the scribes and the Pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak about many things, lying in wait for him, to catch him in something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Thursday, 28th week in Ordinary Time In this morning's Gospel reading Jesus accuses the lawyers, the experts in the Jewish law, of taking away the key of knowledge. These were the theologians of the day who claimed to know God's will and God's ways. Yet, when Jesus tried to teach them about God, they refused to learn and they tried to prevent other people from learning from Jesus too. In the words of the Gospel reading, they did not go in themselves and they prevented others from going in who wanted to. It seems that their learning and expertise was an obstacle to God's work in their own lives and in the lives of others. Those who were much less learned were often much more open to the teaching of Jesus. On one occasion Jesus prayed, I thank you Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and revealed them to infants. Infants in that context are those who have the openness to learn, to receive from Jesus. We are always learners when it comes to the Lord. We are always on the way towards knowing him more fully, not just with our head but with our heart. We need the Lord to be our teacher. On one occasion the disciples came before the Lord like infants, like people who wanted to learn. Teach us to pray, they said to him. It is this humble, seeking, attitude that the Lord delights in and responds to.